A new headset that will allow you to use your mind to control VR games is available for pre-order. For more on that story, the newest game releases, the new Pimax Crystal headset, the schematics leak for Meta's Project Cambria, and this week's Creator Spotlight, you're in the right place. Welcome virtual dreamers, my name is Gregory and this is your virtual news. To get this started, the following are the releases for this past week in games. World of Mechs, The Clockwinder, Wings 1941, and First Person Tennis. There's a healthy mix of titles here, so if any of them caught your eye, be sure to check them out. On to the main story. OpenBCI, the company behind the brain-computer interfaces based on EEGs, and Vario, known for their head-mounted displays with seemingly real-to-life resolution clarity, have announced a partnership to create a new headset in OpenBCI's Galia project, making pre-orders available on May 31st. OpenBCI previously announced Project Galia was actually in partnership with Valve, though there has been no further news on this relationship. YouTuber Brad Lynch obtained a screenshot from a registered user for the new headset, showing that the price tag is sitting at a healthy 22,500 US dollars. Yeah, by far, this is not a consumer level price tag and Project Galia actually responded to the Twitter leak affirming that intention. I must also emphasize to anyone who might still be interested in this in spite of the information that we've just given, that OpenBCI solutions have basically just been EEGs, a technology for which there has been very little impressive progress in the past decade and whose only real connection to technology like full dive or nerve gear is that they're both technically brain computer interfaces. If you've never used an EEG in your life or don't know the first thing about software development kits, this is not your headset to buy. A Vario X3 with an OpenBCI separately purchased, a 3D printer and a 3D scanner would still be cheaper than this solution. So if you're gonna do something crazy along these lines, probably go that route instead of dropping 22 grand on this. With that big story out of the way, let's head into the Virtual Dreamer Spotlight. This week, I'd like to highlight the channel Virtual Panda, as just suggested by Mahdi Mahamud. Virtual Panda's content is a good mixture of providing you with informational videos on topics like creating VR chat avatars and gameplay of VR titles. Their videos, along with the virtual reality shows Fia's and Kamizo's videos on making virtual avatars using Vroid, were invaluable in helping me set up my current character pipeline that I'm using for creating characters in my game, Get a Life Simulator. I'll have a link to Virtual Panda's channel down below in the description, so definitely check them out. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well if you haven't already done so, and leave a comment down below for the creator you'd like me to spotlight in this weekly segment. Now then, time for the two bits. Pimax announced their Pimax Crystal QLED headset, targeting a release date of Q3 of 2022. The headset is set to feature two 2880 by 2720 QLED mini LED backlit panels with up to an 160 Hertz refresh rate, interchangeable lenses that give you anywhere from 125 degrees to 140 degrees of field of view, a Snapdragon XR2 processor to allow the device to be used in a standalone capacity, a YGIG module to allow wireless PC data transmission for wireless PC VR, various faceplate options to allow you to have your choice of either lighthouse tracking or a mixed reality ability, and an optional audio option that can be integrated right into the headset. If 1899 for these specs sounds good to you, Keep your eyes peeled for more info from Pimax in the future. Another story from Brad Lynch of the channel Sadly It's Bradley, they've posted several images of what are purportedly the schematics for Meta's upcoming Project Cambria headset to their Patreon. I won't show them here out of consideration for my fellow content creator, so do check out the link down below I'll have so you can see their Patreon directly. From what I can observe in the images, there are a few interesting details from the schematics compared to what we've seen in the render so far. The most notable ones being an exposed wire on like the right side of the headset and what is likely an Oculus Link cable routing clip on the left side. Otherwise, it's hard to really glean much more information from the schematics that prior renders haven't otherwise divulged. If any new information should come, stay tuned to the channel as I'll be sure to cover it at that time. Until then, I'll see you all in next week's virtual news, my fellow virtual dreamers. This has been Gregory, logging out.